This chapter 4 formally defines gamma and examines its factor sensitivities, particularly to changes in spot and in the options remaining time to expiration. Gamma is a measurement of how fast delta changes and therefore is critical to understanding the likely cost of delta hedging especially in markets that are less liquid and more volatile. Geeks, among whom the speaker proudly counts himself, will want to know that the strict definition of gamma is d delta by ds, the first derivative of the options delta with respect to the spot, which in mathematics makes it also the second derivative of the options price with respect to the spot. Gamma, like delta, has a closed-end formula which we have programmed into Excel on this worksheet, gamma. The first thing we should point out about this worksheet is that the formula for the calls gamma is identical to the formula for the puts gamma. And yet at any one level of the spot if the call is in the money the put of course would be out of the money and vice versa. So unlike delta which would be high for an in the money option and low for the one that is out of the money gamma is the same for both call and put at any given level of the spot. We next observe that for a spot level of 1.2, which makes the call deep out of the money and the put deep in the money, gamma is only 0 0.0352, which is very low. For a spot level of 1.5, which makes both options at the money, gamma reaches 3.6661 which we will show in a moment is pretty nearly the maximum value gamma will reach for these two options. And finally for a spot of 1.8 which makes the call deep in the money and the put deep out of the money gamma falls to 0. 10.04, which is very low again. We said pretty nearly in the last sentence in relation to the at the money options because the maximum value of gamma for these two options is in fact reached at a spot level of 1.4888 and not 1.5. Here's the spot of 1.5 and again the gamma of 3.6661 but we will demonstrate in just a second that the option, the, the spot level, would need to be very slightly below this 1.5 and specifically 1.4888 to maximize gamma. To confirm this we will use the Excel operator Solver which along with GoalSeek is the other principal tool in Excel for either solving or optimizing an equation or a set of equations or formulas quickly. Thus tools solver the dialog box for solver opens set cell target cell F11 you can see it just about, equal to value max, this one here, so we're asking it to maximize gamma by changing cell C7, which is the spot right here, by changing cell C7. Hit solve, it seems they have found a solution it says, keep the solver solution, so hit OK and here appears as we had predicted the spot of 148.88 88, 
and a slightly higher gamma than before which has been optimized as the maximum value. The exact reason for the small difference between the strike of 1.5 and the level at which gamma is maximized of a spot of 148.88 is a little technical and difficult to explain in this module but you should be aware that perhaps as you might suspect by now the higher you make vol and the further below the strike then the further below the strike becomes the level at which gamma is maximized the higher you make vol the further below the strike becomes the level at which gamma is maximized to repeat as an exercise you are asked to confirm that if vol is 30 percent gamma is maximized when spot and forward are 1.4021 which this time becomes substantially below the strike. We show here the graph for gamma against changing levels of the spot and summarize our conclusions so far right underneath the graph. Very quickly just to go through those first a call and a put that have the same terms including strike and tenor have the same gamma exactly whether or not they are at the money. Two, an options gamma normally reaches its highest level when the option is at or very close to the money. But three, the higher vol, the further out of the money the call would be and the further in the money the put would be when their gamma reaches its maximum. And finally, gamma generally diminishes as the option moves in or out of the money and becomes close to zero when the option is deep in the money or deep out of the money as we can see on the tails here of this distribution. We conclude this short chapter by observing how gamma changes as options approach expiration. For an out-of-the-money or in-the-money option, you should be able to predict that gamma approaches zero as the option gets closer and closer to expiration. Since delta would be pretty well stuck at either zero for out-of-the-money options or 100% for in-the-money options. And a one unit change in spot at that point would have very little impact on this delta. Gamma being the rate of change of delta, gamma is therefore very low for either of these two states. We proceed to confirm this for the out of the money option and you should do the same for the one that is in the money. We set the spot at 1.3 and proceed to move the time to expiration down by increments of 0.1. You can see gamma which initially stands at roughly 0.5859 gradually diminish from that level to 0.3948 to point 1952 to 0 0.0436 and now to point 0004 exactly as predicted. Click pause and confirm the same phenomenon for an in the money call perhaps with a spot of 1.7. The more interesting effect, and the one, as we saw previously, that causes the real headaches for traders, happens when the option is close to the money. Setting spot at 1.5, we again reduce tenor by increments of 0.1, starting initially at the tenor of six months. This time we observe gamma which starts at 3.6661 if you recall gradually 
increase to 4.1199 and then to 4.7817 and then to 4, I beg your pardon, 5.8864 and then to 8.3674. Inevitably we are driven to find out what happens just a few minutes before expiration. So we set the tenor at 0 0.0001 which is just under one hour if you do the calculation and watch gamma jump to almost 266. This result should not surprise you from the mathematical perspective since the formula for gamma contains in the denominator the square root of time as you can see here here is the square root of time and as you can see it appears in the denominator because here it lies after the slash sign that you see here nor should this result surprise you intuitively we explained before that an option that is just very slightly out of the money for example if we set spot here to 1.4990 t that option which is very slightly out of the money has a pretty low delta given how close it is to expiration if suddenly spot rises ever so little and the option becomes very slightly in the money note we've made it rise by 0.2 of one cent only the spot keep your eye on the calls delta and watch it jump all the way to almost 75 percent so this tiny increase in the spot of only one fifth of a cent has caused a massive increase in relative terms of the delta and this dramatic increase in delta accompanying a very small movement in spot fits exactly the definition of very high gamma the graph you see on this slide summarizes these observations with the out of the money option shown in pink the in the money option shown in blue and the at the money option rising steadily towards very high gamma as we approach very low tenors very low remaining tenors that option appears in brown our principal conclusions once again are summarized directly underneath the graph and are this time quite easy gamma for in the money and out of the money options approaches zero as the option nears expiration whereas gamma for an at the money option the one in brown tends to infinity as the option nears expiration